I could tell you about my weekend That's all it was It's a party, it's some downtime, it's a breather It blew me apart like a supernova It left me on the bathroom floor in uh, 2000, uh, the Silver Hearts formed, and I joined uh, a few months into the, the band. And the band had a kind of rough magic about it that uh, we very rarely rehearsed and sort of just developed our songs on stage in a, in a really casual and chaotic way. And that was, that was really fun. But I wanted to do something completely different. I wanted to do something that was very arranged and very product oriented, trying to get something, trying to get a recording that sounded really great as opposed to having this sort of loose process. So the, the lyrics were sort of abstract, symbolic kind of stuff about this relationship breaking apart, a breakup that was prophesied by a tarot card reading. But the wheel came round again I put my feet on the ground again Now when we meet, we still say hello, love You don't never really break that chain I like the idea of having a, a love song that's essentially a very sort of heartfelt love song that's, a, that's about casual sex. So the two people in the song have a, 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 an ongoing arrangement where they tend to go home at the end of the evening with one another and uh, he's expressing what he feels like when she just doesn't feel like doing that. It's a cabal of coincidences, just like with the first woman I knew who ever painted my sky blue. She'd spin around and around me like the stars above, and I followed her like the idiot I probably was, but then... I started a band called The Weak Knees, um, and Serena Ryder was uh, supposed to be the backup vocalist. Serena being prodigiously talented, uh, little by little it became a, uh, a sort of two-headed monster and Serena had her songs and I had my songs. And one of my songs that I brought to the band was Fortune's Wheel and Serena liked it quite a bit. She started to incorporate it in her solo shows and then the weak knees folded and she went on to sing it. For me, the goal has always been to refine my songwriting and try to try to capture something and say something that I that is meaningful to me and meaningful to other people. I wear it everywhere. It's a part of me and how I see everyone. So it's nice to finally do that. Years of Ten years after the recording uh, began, to finally uh, finally release it. <laughs>